The United States is home to the world's largest aquaculture industry. More than $1.4 billion worth of fish and shellfish were produced by U.S. farms in 2012, as reported by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Aquaculture, sometimes known as fish farming, is the practice of raising fish and other aquatic organisms in captivity. It is a vital food production technique that helps to replace traditional fishing techniques. Aquaculture has enormous potential as an economic sector in the United States. The country's abundant rivers and extensive coastline makes it a perfect location for fish farming. One of the biggest companies in the world, Blue Ridge Aquaculture Inc., raises tilapia in closed-loop aquaculture systems. Blue Ridge Aquaculture ships between 10,000 and 20,000 pounds of live tilapia every day, totaling 4 million pounds of tilapia per year. These fish have no traces of mercury or other industrial contaminants, and they are grown without the use of antibiotics or hormones. After starting out in 1993, Blue Ridge Aquaculture has been going strong for over 25 years. Martinsville, Virginia is home to the company's HQ and main activities. The firm utilizes a 100,000-square-foot building, and it currently employs around 35 employees. New York, Boston, Toronto, and Washington, D.C. are just some of the main urban areas in the Northeast that the company services with its live fish sales to wholesalers. The majority of these buyers are people of Asian and Latino descent who have a cultural affinity for fresh, live seafood. According to BRA's management, the company presently has a 20% share of the local market for live tilapia. Seafood is raised in sanitary controlled setting using BRA's recirculating aquaculture system, which is not possible in open system aquaculture. Solids removal, biofiltration, gas balancing, oxygenation, and disinfection are just a few of the ways in which recirculating systems improve water reuse. When compared to other aquaculture operations, BRA consistently achieves superior results across the board. This includes rapid growth, high production densities, low feed conversion ratios, and mortality rates. The organization is aware of the detrimental effects of stress on the animals and provides them with a stress-free environment. When running its business, BRA considers all three financial metrics equally important. The low ecological impact, high water reuse during which over 85% of the water is recycled back into the system, and captured effluent with no environmental discharge are just some of the reasons why the company considers RAS to be the most environmentally beneficial source. The competitive pay and comprehensive benefits package offered by BRA demonstrate the company's commitment to its employees as a strategic asset and competitive advantage. For those who are eligible, the corporation also offers a robust health insurance plan. The company's financial performance has been promising, and management expects it to continue improving in the future as well. Fish farming is a controversial topic in the United States. While some see fish farming as a sustainable method of food production, others see it as harmful to the ecosystem. The practice of raising fish in captivity in the United States has become more common in recent years. The United States' 1.4 billion worth of farmed fish and shellfish production in 2016 amounted to 1.1 billion pounds. There has been a substantial rise compared to prior years, and it is anticipated that this trend will continue. U.S. fish farms come in many shapes and sizes, from backyard enterprises to industrial complexes. Among the many types of fish farms in the United States, freshwater aquaculture facilities where species like tilapia, catfish, and bass are grown are rather widespread. These farms use freshwater, therefore you'll find them near bodies of water like rivers and lakes. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration data estimates that around 26,000 Americans are directly or indirectly employed in the $1.8 billion fish farming sector. Over 80% of the country's shrimp and oysters come from the Gulf of Mexico, where the vast majority of fish farms are situated. 
The environmental effect of fish farming has been a point of contention in recent years. Research has demonstrated that fish farms may be harmful to marine ecosystems and the quality of water they use. However, many modern aquaculture operations are now making efforts to lessen their destructive effects on the natural world by adopting new and safe methods. There are a lot of advantages to fish farming in America that make it a good choice for both industrial and consumer fisheries. One advantage is that fish farms may be used to cultivate several fish species, all of which can be sold to consumers or utilized to repopulate natural water bodies. Aquaculture has several advantages, one of which is that it may aid in the preservation of wild fish populations. Fishermen may help wild fish populations recover from overfishing by growing fish in captivity. Aside from the obvious benefits of providing food and work, fish farms may also provide a significant economic boost to rural areas in particular. During the last 30 years, the aquaculture portion of fish production has increased from less than 10% of total production to about 50% today. The average American now consumes 45 pounds of fish per year, which is a significant rise over the 20 pounds they ate in 1961. These days, fish make up roughly 17% of the world's total consumption of animal protein. Many individuals believe that aquaculture will play a significant role in meeting the challenge of feeding the world's constantly expanding population. For that reason, new and more advanced fish farms are being built every day. These farms will not only increase production, but will also solve a lot of problems that are currently being faced by the American aquaculture industry. What are some of the problems being faced by the American aquaculture industry? And how are modern farms going to solve these problems? There are several issues affecting the U.S. aquaculture sector right now. The high price of manufacturing is a key obstacle. Feed, labor, and other inputs have risen in price over the last several years, but the price fish producers can get has stayed around the same. That's why a lot of aquaculture businesses aren't making any money right now. The spread of illness is another issue that must be addressed in the industry. Diseases spread quickly in aquaculture facilities and may quickly destroy an entire fish population in just a few days. These illnesses are notorious for being difficult to cure and costly to the farm as a whole. Lastly, environmental concerns are also a problem for the aquaculture sector. Pollution and diminished water quality are two potential outcomes of having fish farms in a given area. Along with this, they also pose a threat of introducing invasive species of fish to sensitive ecosystems. To fight these problems, the United States seafood sector is embracing new technologies in an attempt to become more environmentally friendly and productive. The use of robots in the fish farming industry is one such instance. Feeding the fish, checking the water quality, and even cleaning the tanks are all jobs that may be performed by robots. As a result, farmers have more time to focus on growing their businesses in other ways. Disease transmission in fish populations is another area where robots might aid. Even while there is an upfront cost associated with this kind of technological advancement, it is hoped that this will pay off in the long term by contributing to a more effective and environmentally friendly seafood business. American fish farms have adopted new techniques in recent years to boost output. Cages floating in the water are one technique used for this purpose. Since the fish are contained inside the cages, there is less of a chance of their escaping and more may be grown in a given space. Genetically engineered fish is another technique being tested currently. These fish are healthier, more disease-resistant, and mature far more quickly than their counterparts. Because of this, they are perfect for farming. All of the new farms being built in the United States will undoubtedly solve all of the agriculture problems. These farms will also be used to increase production on a large scale. The newly built indoor fish farms are also one of the most incredible methods of mass-producing fish in a very small space. These farms heavily rely on technological advancements to maintain healthy fish and clean water. They also contribute to the overall GDP 
and economic growth.